I am Les Crowder, I'm a top bar beekeeper. So the Jamaican beekeepers um, wanted to know more about top bar hives because they had banned American beeswax and they heard that top bar hives made wax and they thought well that would be a good way to have a few of these to make wax for because they make their own foundation. They get their own beeswax, boil it, roll it through rollers and make their own foundation. And so I came and I remember we made some top bar hives and we donated one. So Jamaica has parishes and each parish has a bee farmer association. It's like a, and they're very well organized. It's like a group of beekeepers from that area that get together and have regular trainings. They have like business meetings and everything like, like we do. But they also often have an apiary that's a training apiary so that new beekeepers come in, they go out to the apiary, they put on their veils, they light their smokers and they open the hives and they teach each other through these apiaries. So we brought a top bar hive to show each of the bee farmer associations. And at one point I have a little video that goes with my book that um, I, I, I was showing pictures of me or video of me harvesting honeycomb and I noticed that a bunch of the men got up and left during that part of the, of the video and I thought, I guess they weren't impressed. It was only three combs and it was because when the guy came to make the video, it was really late in the season. I didn't have a lot of honey in the hives. And um, then they all came back and one of them had a tape measure and some, several of them had brought in pens. And the guy, while the movie was still showing, was measuring the hive and everybody was writing down the measurements. And I realized that they were impressed and they were going to take home their measurements and go make some top bar hives. Um, Jamaicans are eminently practical. They, they don't have a lot of money. So they're seeing what do I have to invest and in? what can I make from this? And they're, they're seeing that with a top bar hive they have to invest much less. Uh, and so top bar hives are, are expanding rapidly in Jamaica. There's also a lot of misunderstanding about Rastafarianism. Rastafarians are very organic. They are often usually vegan. They don't eat any meat. Um, they won't eat sugar, so they will eat honey. They're very into not buying things from big companies, trying to produce things locally and organically. And um, so often they become beekeepers because they need honey and honey is hard to get in Jamaica. It's expensive. And often they actually can wind up selling honey beyond their own personal needs. And they don't believe in any kind of pesticide or chemical. So they have a, a, a spiritual belief that draws them to become beekeepers to a great extent. And I have a lot of respect for them. They have a lot of respect for nature. And I feel that that's something we need to learn from them is we are part of nature. We've often got to where we think, well, we've got all the way to the moon. We're above nature. But while we were on the moon, I remember as a kid, they showed a picture of the astronaut had a, like a toothpaste tube squirting something in his mouth. It was Georgia peaches pureed and put in there. So there was an orchard with roots and earthworms in the roots and bees in the flowers that's feeding him on the moon with a long umbilical cord. But even he on the moon is being fed by the natural world here on, on Earth. We are not above nature. We are part of, and it's wonderful. It's beautiful. And I love being part of nature. And I, that's one thing I really like about Jamaica is that there's a strong respect for that. 